properties of peppermint. Properties Relieves pain and dizziness. Antispasmodic, carminative, antiseptic, analgesic, anti-inflammatory and stimulating. Calm and muscle cramps. All these properties allow it to deal with the problems of indigestion, flatulence. Try also that problems of inflammation of the liver, gallbladder acting on it triggers the production of bile. It acts on the nerves relieving pain sensation. Fights gingivitis, colic in children, expels parasites. Use of peppermint. The uses that are given are also multiple than, from home to industrial. It is used heavily in the perfumery industry and cosmetics, and confectionery preparations. It is used for salad dressings, soups, game meats and lamb. With the leaves is prepared very popular cocktail, the Mojito Cubano. Mixed with milk, expels intestinal parasites. As a medicinal herb, the leaves become tea for digestive disorders such as heartburn and stomach pain, diarrhea, gastritis, constipation and intestinal infection. Mixed with olive oil then we will have a wonderful sob to heal burns. Compresses and topical. The spearmint tea is consumed, it is an aromatic herb. Peppermint store to keep them dry, has a bunch and hang them in a shady spot in less than 35 degrees, because if this temperature exceeds their essences evaporate. When they are dry put them in a glass jar. By containing menthol, is ideal for the treatment of respiratory tract as an expectorant. Indicated for asthma. In infusion. Peppermint and Chimamala mixed in equal proportions. Take it for asthmatics hits. As antiseptic. Use your infusion gurgle or other internal treatment as of utmost aid because of its high content of polyphenols and essential oil make it a great source of antiviral and antifungal. As anesthetic. Its anesthetic properties are well known by naturists who recommend alignment with leaves and stem of the plant for treatment of rheumatism and even to ethics. For nausea, vomiting and malaise. Cup of tea three times a day. As digestive, antispasmodic, intestinal colic, flatulence, bad breath, for conditions of the gallbladder and as colagog have a cup of tea after meals or 35 to 45 drops of tincture after meals in a glass of water. As analgesic to opids and headaches. Apply that poultice with cotton and the affected tooth or cloth on the forehead. For coughs and colds. Perform two to three times daily inhalations. The essential oil works well as an antiseptic for wounds and ulcers, protecting them from infections and helping to heal faster. The essential oil also has a relaxing effect on the brain and relaxing, whether helping to relieve stress and improve concentration. It is also applied in sectary pale and to the skin. How to prepare the infusion? Add a cup of boiling water over 2 teaspoons mint. Let stand 10 minutes and drink. How to prepare the dye. Place in a 200 grams of peppermint vial and add 1 liter of 70% alcohol. Stir well and let stand 7 days in a covered jar, stir in once a day. Filter and store in a jar from light, for up to 1 year. How to prepare the poultice. Crush fresh mint leaves and apply. How to make the puffs. Add a jagged boiling water over two tablespoons of leaves and make puffs with a towel over his head, being careful not to burn. Beauty the home invigorating peppermint is one of many facial beauty tips that exist today. Ideal for all those who suffer from dry skin, this can comfort toning your skin and leave it more supple, hydrated and healthy. 
The following ingredients need to prepare the tonina peppermint. 1 tablespoon of peppermint or mint. 1 half cup of rose water. 1 cup of water. The preparation is as follows. Boil peppermint or mint in the cup of water for 5 minutes. Let it sit for 15 minutes until it cools and filters the preparation. There will be time to add the rose water. Subsequently apply it on your face with cotton moistened with the preparation, letting it soak on your face, rinse with cool water. Contraindications Despite not being observed as an inappropriate use of plant essential oils if they can be harmful to the body. Peppermint, in large amounts, can cause gastrointestinal burning in some people. Peppermint tea should be used with caution in young children because they can choke on the reaction to the strong menthol. The use of mint tea cautious because in large amounts can cause problems in pregnant women. If any of you are in the area of Moyetos, please pass me the original recipe. Greetings, that you spent good day.